Have you ever seen somewhere and just wondered what's over there? What can I explore in that area? Like you're just drawn to it magnetically and you don't even know why. Well, this is one of those places. If you're from Southern Utah, you probably know where this place is. This is the Parowan Gap. It's a very unique canyon. It doesn't quite look like it fits here. It almost looks like it was man-made, but I think some of the evidence we're going to see today will prove otherwise. Lots of history here, prehistoric history, ancient history, and some pioneer history, I think, too. Well, we got another windy day. Another day I probably won't be able to fly the drone. But that's all right, hopefully we can still see some stuff here. It's pretty well fenced off. So we won't be able to do too much rock climbing, it looks like. And I don't know that I want to. These, these cliffs are pretty steep. But we'll look around for some petroglyphs. And then I think there's supposed to be some dinosaur tracks up here too. So hopefully we can find both. Let's go. This historical canyon is filled with hundreds of petroglyphs from at least three different cultures. Most of the rock art is believed to be created by the Fremont culture around a thousand years ago. However, some of these are even older. The ones with the nice geometric patterns, these are known as archaic. They could possibly date back to 7,000 years ago. And don't forget about the Paiutes. They were the last native culture to settle in this area. The wind is definitely not doing me any favors today. Hopefully this turns out good and you guys still enjoy it. Cause it's pretty awesome seeing some artwork from a thousand years ago. And then just to be in a awesome location like this, these cliffs are pretty cool. I wonder where that's supposed to be. What do you guys think it is? Besides a circle with some grids in it. So here's a possible pioneer signature. 1947 and 1948. So I guess that was well after the pioneers, so that wasn't really a pioneer signature. That was some 1947 graffiti. But they say this canyon has uh, a lot of golden eagle nests and other falcons and hawk nests up here too. So if you're lucky and you're here at the right time, you might be able to see a golden eagle. That'd be awesome. I hope we see one today. Yeah, so this little cut out of this ridge is pretty interesting just because there's no river here, no nothing except for wind. And I don't think wind carved this canyon. So, makes you wonder what was going on back here a hundred thousand or even a million years ago.
This one looks like it could be a Spanish symbol. What do you think? too? He's all, maybe if I hold still, he won't see me. Well, that was one side of the street in the Parowan Gap. Let's go check out the other side. First thing I can see is a cave. That's fenced off, of course. Everybody wanders into those things and gets hurt. So they block it off for the rest of us. Well, it's not a very big cave, but I bet you somebody used this as shelter at one time. I wonder how many people stayed in that hole in the rock. It's right at the bottom of these cliffs. <laughs> Be a good place to take shelter though, if you needed to. Even nowadays, I guess if you had to, you could jump that fence and get in there. If it really came down to your survival. Gosh, it kind of looks like there might be some old carvings in there too. Down on the wall. I don't think you can see it. It's pretty dark in there. But they might be some old petroglyphs.
Okay, there's some more petroglyphs up here we can go look at. Good. Let's go look at them. Sweet, we got some more nice ones right here. And then some more right below it. And this boulder. The grooves on this rock are really deep. Like that big long one, the grooves are at least a quarter inch deep. And then below that figure looking guy, that's pretty deep too. They didn't want those ones to wear off. Okay, we're gonna see if I can show you how deep these are without touching them. Look how deep that groove is. And then the one that's right below this guy, Batman, I guess. Those are really deep too. That angle doesn't quite show them. Let's... Those are some deep grooves. And Batman. There's some clear up on that rock too. blew me over. Way more petroglyphs here than I expected. Some of them are really hard to get to and others are down low like these ones right on the trail. Check out this nice spiral. Oh, I didn't even notice that a spiral oh there's some underneath it too crazy they just keep appearing the longer you look at them okay we got a nice pattern of dots and I think that's graffiti we got a big sun, I would assume. And then I don't know what that is. Is it a bug? Or is it a boat with some oars? Oh, that was probably something, but I can't make anything out. Can we get another possible sun right there? And then another really deep one. And a spider web looking grid pattern. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna go up this little trail. See if there's anything up here, maybe. I already see one little petroglyph down here. Wagon wheel, maybe? I don't know. I think these guys carved this before wagon wheels were around. Unless they've seen the Romans. This area is pretty cool. We'll keep going.
Oh, there's a little cave up here. That's why there's a trail. Well, that's cool. Not really big enough for a person, but a nice place for animals. I guess a little person could get in there if they dared. Okay, I better go up and look. Another hole under the rock for the animals. And nothing. At least it's a nice view. Makes me wonder though, how many natives from a thousand years ago stood right here, looked over this little canyon, yelled at their friend, hey! Okay, back down to the road we go. Let's see what else we got. I see a sign down there, so there's something. I'll meet you down there. So that's either a river or a snake, would be my guess. Looks like they started carving a straight line there too. Okay, we got a spiral or an all-seeing eyeball next to some graffiti from 1956, it looks like. And here's some pioneer graffiti. 1882, Hyatt. 1839. DCFB and then 1887. Oh, here on the sign, they're arguing the fact of rock inscription, historic, or vandalism. 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 and vandalism. It's really sad when you're out here and you find vandalism. I can understand in a city, but why do you come out to a place like this and vandalize a rock? Just doesn't make any sense. Because not like this is gang territory. I think the last gang out here was the Paiutes. Well, if you ever have that sneaky suspicion you need to go explore somewhere, I suggest you do it. This place has been calling me for a long time and I didn't know why, but now I do. Some awesome petroglyphs here. I even got to see a nice falcon soaring through the wind. Very cool. This is a must see if you love petroglyphs. There's a couple of really interesting ones here. Thank you. 
All right, we made it to the dinosaur track area. Okay, supposedly about 65 million years ago, the Hadrosaurus roamed this area. He was like a duck-billed dinosaur, and they think he mainly grazed on grass and stuff like a cow or a buffalo. But they were big, they were 10 to 40 feet long, and they were probably nice dinosaurs. They'd probably let you pet them if they were still around. Let's go see if we can find them. Hopefully we do. And I did, I read this information on a sign and it also said about 15 million years ago when this area lifted is when there was a river that ran through here. So 15 million years ago, the Parowan Gap was formed. Okay, here's our first one. This is the one they were talking about that got vandalized. Somebody took off the toe on that foot. There were three toed dinosaurs. Kind of like a bird. Oh, I see another sign. Should be one up here. They said they're scattered amongst the boulders. So hard to say here, that could be a big huge foot, and then another smaller one, and then that is possibly another foot. Okay, I see another sign, I'll meet you up there. Okay, here's this sign, let's see if we can find the footprint. Hmm. Might be right here, might be this indent. That kind of looks like a foot. I can't see anything else here. That looks like a possible dinosaur foot. So we'll keep going. But according to the sign, this is a really popular climbing area. There's 18 different routes you could climb on this cliff face. If you dare. So one thing I did notice about this canyon, there's lots of places to camp. This would be a pretty nice place to camp. Might be able to see some golden eagles. Definitely be able to find some dinosaur footprints and some native rock art. And then just enjoy the sheer peace and quiet of this place. There are definitely some cool things to see here. Check out this rock. This reminds me of a uh, little Finland a little bit, just brown. So maybe a uh, fantasy king. Okay, let's see if we can find any more dinosaur footprints. Let's see if we can get lucky. I'm kind of surprised there's not any rock art on these boulders somewhere. We're not too far down the canyon from where the other, from where all the rock art was. Weird.
but I haven't seen any more signs. So I'm gonna look around a little bit more, but that might be about it. I've definitely found better places for dinosaur tracks, but it's still, it's still really cool seeing one. 65 million years ago, that was a long time. But we can still find them. Makes me wonder what they're gonna find of us in 65 million years. They'll find just a bunch of garbage or if they'll find something cool to maybe remember us. Makes you wonder. So the Parowan Gap, an awesome, quiet, and beautiful place to come see. So hopefully you can make it here. I guess there could be more dinosaur tracks out here. I found all the ones that were marked, I think. <laughs> and I wandered around a little bit more and I didn't, I seen a couple possibilities, but they were only a maybe. So maybe you can find one that nobody else has found. So if you try, Good luck. I wish you my best. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.